Hello everyone, my name is Clementine, welcome back to Clementine Creative, I'm back with another video. This week we are here with a longer video, we have three 15 minute videos, uh, around 15 minutes, uh, I think some of them, I think this one maybe, is almost 16 minutes, uh, but around that time scale. So I decided to basically try uh, longer videos, so this is 10 minutes more than what I usually do, um, just to test the water, see what people like and what they don't like uh, and I think in 15 minutes uh, there's quite a lot you can see the process is definitely a lot slower than usually um, but let's just go on and talk about uh, really what's going on on the video in the actual video uh, so what you see me do here is drawing a pose very simple pose not really complicating it much although this is the first one in the series so it goes a little bit slow uh, whenever you start drawing, uh, until you get warmed up, uh, it takes a while for you to uh, get some of these poses down or to get the, you know, mm, the fluid, ah, fluidity, fluid, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> I should probably cut that out, but I probably won't because I'll forget that I've said that. But basically it makes your work, your, your workflow more fluid. Uh, you start to really see where things are happening basically need to go uh, straight on from the beginning you don't need to guess a lot like here you can see me uh, erase a bunch of stuff a couple of times uh, that really doesn't need to happen as much once you get warmed up but here I'm basically trying to draw uh, some poses that you can use whilst presenting your characters that really depends on what kind of a character and what its attraction is what its main attraction is uh, you certainly don't want to do too many sitting poses like this one. I wanted to throw uh, one like this in for uh, funsies. Uh, this kind of looks like he's maybe sitting on a, a couch of some sort, like a really high balcony thing. I don't know. His leg is definitely hanging down. Um, here I kind of draw him be on a, being on a cloud. But basically what this is for is to really also represent a character's mood you know what does what is he like you know this character to me looks like somebody who's very lazy somebody who doesn't feel like doing a lot of things uh and you know sometimes with your poses you might try to convey an idea as convey an idea especially if it's like a soldier of or somebody of a tough structure tough structure um that you sort of want to with their pose uh show their uh, dominance in maybe in whatever it is that they do uh, if it's a huge character it has a very static pose you know it makes him look uh, unmovable makes him look like a tank and those are some of the things that you're looking for when drawing a pose it's basically you know how to present the character how do we want this character to what is his first image that we'll get of like what is the first image people will get of him when they see him you know a pose can really do a lot of things uh, it's how we humans normally judge people is by how they look like or how they walk you know if somebody walks you can really tell a lot about people just by the way they walk uh, or so i've heard <laughs> i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't be much of an expert on that um, but it is true that a lot of people have their unique way of walking. Uh, for me, personally, from experience, I know that uh, once I live somewhere for a while, this is something that happened in my dormitory. Basically, whenever somebody would come on the hallway of our dormitory, I would usually hear uh, their footsteps, and I would know who it is just by hearing their footsteps because each person has a quite a unique uh, way of walking. Uh, and, and it's really interesting to, to see these kind of developments in recognition. So that is something that, you know, you maybe try to apply, of course, not with walking. Uh, if, of course, if you're an animator, that's different. But um, you're trying to really show something with the pose. So we look at the third pose. Uh, this guy is, like, ready to fight. You know, it looks like his sword has already been pulled out a little bit, like, you know, with the finger, <laughs> like they do in anime, if you watch anime. Um, and then the fourth guy looks like he's full of himself, looks like somebody who uh, considers himself to be above others uh, in terms of power. And then we have one of these regular, uh, what is this, a fighting pose, almost almost a fighting pose. More like him being, yeah, check out my muscles. If you've watched Terminator, there's this really, 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 not Terminator, <laughs> what I'm talking about, I meant Predator, the first Predator movie. I said Terminator because Schwarzenegger plays in it. And in Predator, I know, I remember the scene where there's this friend that he meets, uh, 
the main character, I guess, uh, which would which was played by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it was funny because you know the, you know that they had him in the movie because of his muscles, right? He was uh, a bodybuilder uh, before the, his acting career, and it was really funny because there was a scene and he basically gives a hand like a like an arm wrestling uh, you know pose with their arms to this other guy, and and you can see that cheesy shot on his bicep. You know that's where the inspiration for this one came. You can see he has his arm up a little bit, like he's trying to show off his bicep or something. That's what happened in the movie, and it was really funny to see because it just zoomed in on on uh, Schwarzenegger's bicep, and it was really funny. Um, but that was the idea for this one to make him uh, look a little bit cocky. Although this one is. <laughs> Uh, a bit funny, but Pose, uh, the arm on, the, on his left arm is kind of weird. Um, but again, poses are something that, for me, are easier to draw uh, when I draw them really small. So usually, what I do is I don't dive into the specifics of the pose. I have an, uh, I could say I have a basic idea of what I want the character to do. Whether it's jumping or flying or shooting or fighting. And uh, I usually start out really small. That would be about like, like even less, like for even less than half of the size of the pose, like really small. And the reason for that is because you can't really focus on the details when you're drawing really small. It's possible, and that gives you the ability to draw the bigger shapes and focus on what's most important, which is the actual, you know, shape of the body. You know, how does it, uh, how does it look like in a specific position? Uh, it's something that I've learned that helps me out a lot. You can see how small I'm drawing here. I would normally draw even smaller than this because you can still go quite detailed here. Um, but I can I usually small uh, start at about this kind of size. Um, so basically prevents me from focusing on small detail, which is you know a flaw of a lot of designers or artists. Uh, if you like detail, you like detailed drawings. It's and it's almost natural to to focus doing it step by step you're going from head down to chest to the or to the entire torso arms you know legs it's sort of normal but when you're drawing poses and this is very important and of course this is not a given you know everybody has their own way of you know drawing poses uh, or uh, how po or or basically perceiving how poses work or teaching people how poses work but at least in my experience from what i've guessed from what i've learned is that the most important thing about poses is the overall shape and the energy, uh, which I think a lot of people would agree, uh, which is why it's really important that you start out small, small and quick. That's what you want. Because if you go quick, there's a lot of energy in your lines. They're not thought out, they're not so, you know, they don't look perfect, which is a lot of people's problem is we make perfect lines because human beings, uh, we like perfect things. We like straight edges or whatever. If you look at nature, there's almost no geometrical shapes. Those are all made by us. Uh, and the reason for that is because we just like perfection. So whenever, which is a really good thing to know, because if you're doing an environment concept, for instance, as soon as you throw in something geometrical, it'll definitely stand out and it'll say, this was made by something that has higher intelligence. Intelligence that, you know, basically has this, that, that has a need for basically perfect shapes, right? Now, since people like things perfect, um, of course, you know, nice and straight lines, thought out lines. It's not really something that applies to poses. And that is simply because poses are something that has to communicate energy. It's because it's happening with energy. So whenever you jump, you produce energy, right? And you, when you jump, uh, and that is something that is very hard to draw sometimes because shapes that basically happen in a human body when you jump are very difficult sometimes to just get out from, you know, just to draw them out out of your head and not ever, not ever seeing the pose or whatever is very difficult. Um, but I've come to realize that for me, I've never been very good with poses, to be honest. Uh, but only recently have I discovered this technique of small drawings where, uh, like I said, I start really small and, and then basically enlarge the entire pose. And, and it's really the way I work now. It's just because it's so much simpler. I don't focus on the big shapes. It's if you're a manga fan, uh, you might have heard of the things called chibi. Now, chibis are small characters are basically, uh, if you have an adult character in anime, a chibi would be a small version of them and a more cartoonish, more childish version, which is sometimes used in comedy segments of a manga. Um, but what 
is good for designing or for just general drawing about these chibis that their body type is very simplified. And I think that's kind of what you want to go with. You want to go with very simple body. You don't even have to go with the whole, you know, muscle shapes. Don't even think about where the muscles are. That is not the important part when you're drawing a pose. It's all about the dynamic. So let's talk about some of the poses here. Uh, the first pose on the bottom, uh, now we can see these are all smaller. These show a little bit more action and the above ones. Above ones are definitely more static. Uh, the, the lower ones are trying to convey a little bit more energy uh, or the one I'm drawing now, for instance, is trying to convey a, a, a um, sense of perspective. Uh, this is something you can see in Dragon Ball a lot. This pose is where they have their arms up like this when they're basically charging up with key. So again, different poses, you know, the lower ones try to tend to be more uh, energetic than the above ones. But now let's talk about them a little bit. Um, we have the first pose that kind of looks like he's jumping, maybe ready to punch something. It really depends on where you stage this character. I think this pose could definitely use a little bit more work. And it's definitely my, probably one of my least favorites from these bottom ones. Um, now we have the second one, which uh, it might not be very clear what it is, but it's basically, you know, somebody that's falling and has spread their legs apart to put two guns in between their legs and shoot. It's a, I think it's a very popular uh, pose for shooting when somebody's falling. I think we've seen it a lot of times. Uh, and then the third pose, we have this running pose, you know, straight on view of a running man, man who runs. <laughs> uh, the fourth one, his legs are a bit wonky because I should have probably made some research on that one. Uh, again, these are all from my head. I tried, I tried not to uh, look up anything so that I could test myself to see how well I could do these poses without really looking them up. Uh, so, you know, the fourth one is definitely a fail, but uh, this is the kind of pose you use when your character does a flip and he lands on his arms and he's about ready to jump on his legs is the kind of pose you could use. Uh, the fifth one, with the one that looks like he has two swords in the back, is basically something you could see in One Piece. Zoro, the character that uses swords, has this pose a lot. It's when they basically jump off a wall or of a floor, and if you're looking above, when they, they're basically about to jump and use their swords to attack you. And then, of course, we have the last one on the middle row, which is the Dragon Ball one, one where, you know, he's just standing, looking at him from above. Uh, not, nothing special there. Then we have the, of course, I had to add this one in, it's the superhero landing pose. Uh, kind of something like Iron Man has, except I think Iron Man uh, is a little bit more tilted uh, as far as his torso go, I think. Um, but, you know, something like this is a very, very popular pose in... Ooh, I am so sorry about those. <laughs> I, I said P too many times and it just popped my microphone. Um, let's say that again. It's very popular in uh, superhero movies. Um, almost every superhero lands like this. Um, it's really funny, but it's just something that makes them look cool. Now, if you've seen this, uh, this uh, third pose that I'm drawing on the bottom, you can see how I started really, really small, and I'm now working on top of it, uh, trying to make this uh, pose of, like, uh, for a fighting stance. Uh, again, you can see how, how small I start out, and that really helps me out a lot. Uh, if we look at the second pose, it looks like somebody that's about to kick their crap out of somebody. Uh, you get hit by that, it's very devastating, I can tell you. I've watched videos on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> but let's see uh, what else I'm going to draw. Am I going to draw anything else? I, th I think I should draw at least two more poses. Ah, there we go. There we go. I'm sorry about that. Seems that I had a bit of a wait there. Um, let's see what's going on here. Ah, okay, we're doing this one. Uh, this is one of my favorite poses that I'm actually going to use in the next video. Uh, it's one of these poses where, you know, somebody pulls out two swords. It's like, come on, bring it on. Bring it on, son. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's that pose, and I think there's one more, and then this video will end. Uh, again, this was not a much of a tutorial. It was more like demonstrating my drawing of poses, me drawing poses. But if you want a specific tutorial on poses, just, you know, comment down below. You probably want it. You probably want it, but uh, just comment down below anyways. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this specific 15-minute video. We have two more to go this week. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Should I make an outro? How, how close am I to the end? Ah, oh, very close. We only have about 20 seconds left. Uh, again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, here's the 
preview of all the poses. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next character design video. All right, bye. Everything changes.